Welcome back to Brooklyn. The brand new Barclays Center where we'll have uh, Indiana, Georgetown later on tonight. As you can see, 10 Eastern on ESPN. Kansas and St. Louis will battle on ESPNU after this game for the championship game in Kansas City. And then Illinois and Chaminade on ESPN2 later tonight out in Maui. Chaminade pulling off the upset and beating Texas last night. The winner of the Illinois Chaminade game will go to the championship game out in Maui. You know, last night I kind of thought, as I believe you did, that uh, Caldwell Pope was really out of sync in play. And, 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 and the way he uh, played on the offensive end was, was really a negative thing for Georgia. And now we're looking at Georgia having scored 21 points and Caldwell Pope hasn't scored yet. And I think that's a good sign. Hasn't even uh, taken a shot. No, and I, I think that's a good sign, too, <laughs> that, that uh, he hasn't, that other people have. And there again, that two points comes from getting the ball inside. If we could break this down, Dan, the 22 they've scored, they've gotten about 16 of it inside. Yep, 14 in the paint and three of them from the free throw line. So 17 of the 22 have come in that fashion. And the lead is up to 10. It's a 7-0 run right now for the Bulldogs. Keep running the clock and running the clock when they get down, when they don't get a good shot. Oh, my. A turnover, three on one, UCLA. Adams rejected by Thornton, and Georgia comes out of there with a the basketball. What a great play by Thornton, not giving up on it at all, and coming up with a clean block, and now the Bulldogs, another wise decision, another mature decision to quote Mark Fox, as they can hold it for the final shot of the half. Exactly, that's a huge point now, but they don't want to go down. Uh, they got to start working for a shot with 10 seconds left, not with three seconds left. Five seconds. Caldwell Pope for three. And the first half comes to a close with Georgia, no question, executing better. Although they let some of their leads slip away in the last couple of minutes. Gerard Brantley, no. And Anderson down with a rebound for UCLA. Georgia's in the same kind of mode right now that they were last last night. How exactly. about that pass, Coach, from Anderson, about a 30-foot bounce pass into Muhammad. He sees what's there, and he has an ability to concentrate and do what turns what he sees into a good play, just like he did there, resulting in a bucket. Maybe a three point continues to yell out hands to his players. There's a good, that's the first good move George has made against the zone. Bring the ball in to the side, bottom man slides up, hitting for the open shot. They just have not done that. Dante Williams from the short corner to get the Bulldogs back within three. That was really a big basket for uh, Georgia, Dan. Smith called for the offensive foul. Tried to swipe him out with his elbow. So a little momentum shift, perhaps, in favor of Georgia as we go to a timeout here in Brooklyn in a three-point game. We're here in Brooklyn, about two miles away from the site where once stood Ebbets Field. I think one of the most memorable historic ballparks in baseball, the home of the Brooklyn Dodgers until they left after the 1957 season. Ebbets Field was torn down in 1960. We are at, a, at Atlantic and Flatbush, just about exactly two miles away. I know you are a big time baseball fan. Did you ever go to any Brooklyn Dodgers games when you were a kid? No, but also within just a couple of blocks of where we are, one of the greatest coaches, maybe the best ever in the history of basketball, Claire B. lived and coached the Long Island now, Blackbirds. Of the New York Islanders, over 2.6 million people live in Brooklyn. And it's right at the intersection of a number of different subway lines. A lot of easy ways to get here with public transportation. Beautiful building as we enjoy the Progressive Legends Classic. Well, they're scrambling right now. Caldwell Pope with the baseline drive. Ware meets him, blocks it. Vincent Williams for three. Huge basket for the Bulldogs. That's great. They did a great job on that screen. Game over. Caldwell Pope down behind the play. Oh, come on. The other end. 
got to make the net. That huge difference uh, in the free throw uh, shooting now. Uh, tremendous disparity there, and that means that you're not getting the ball on offense in a place where you can draw the foul. Adams makes both free throws. He goes back to the bench. He's now made 32 in a row this year and 34 out of 35. <coughs> They need a three. They don't get it from Jurisic. Powell down with the rebound. And Georgia has no choice but to foul. So it looks like UCLA, after struggling for most of the first half, is going to get out of here with a win, while Georgia will head home 0-2 here in Brooklyn. They'll drop to 1-4. The Bruins will feel a little bit better after the loss to Georgetown last night by bouncing back here with a victory. You know, they've played. Once they, they got the game going, it looked like that Georgia was going to dominate at least for a little part in the first uh, in the first half, but then uh, UCLA came back yep. and UCLA played even with them, and then UCLA in this second half has been they've definitely won the half.